Always love Bre bringing it in. Oh, should have closed Twitter. Boop. Uh, let's do an artist thread. Many people are doing holiday shopping. And art is great thrift. Well, that's cool. Uh, sweet. Go close that, which I never remember to close. I should add the checklist to close the checklist. But like, I've got steps that I do, and it's like, one. Oh. Okay, clearly I need to add a step of open the camera and make sure the camera is there. Um, I've got one for checking the keyboard camera, which I didn't actually do this time, so I'm glad that that's there. A little bit, uh, I was rushing in just a little bit because like, I wanted to start about 8 because I think that's actually what's on my schedule. Maybe it's 8.30? I don't know. Uh, I felt like 8 was a good time to go, so, uh, yeah. Also, it's a little bright today. A little. I'm a little tired after last night. That was a, it was a good run last night. But definitely, definitely have a little bit of the tired. Um, uh, let's see. So, yeah. So we did last night, and it's. I'm. So the sizing is gonna mess with me a little bit, because this I think is really the size right here. Um, but of course I blow things up for the stream. But yeah. So we got, and it's funny. There's no home link. I can't go back to the to the homepage without like doing this. Um, oh, it's a bummer that that one word kicks over there. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, so... NASA images, let's see what's in here. Oh, this has been fun. Like, for me, it's been super fun to work on the site and, like, do go this whole uh, digital, digital garden route, um, which is a very, you know, ambiguous term or whatever, but, like, this is my version of it. Um, so it's not just a blog. Um, I don't know if I'm going to fix that tonight. I'm not sure what I'm going to do tonight. Um, your friend Jill's digital garden. Yeah, so there. this person did a different version that I also like that just like, there's an intro stuff and then some like curated links, like some of his personal favorites. Mine, I just went, like, I I didn't necessarily want to, um, this is a good book. Um, Checklist Manifesto, also a good book. I don't know Badass. And I don't know Thinking in Systems. I should add this to books to read. Um, maybe that's what I'll do tonight, is put in... I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um... Add search to a to a site. So like, does DuckDuckGo have a DuckDuckGo search on site? Privacy simplified. Search box. Add a DuckDuckGo search box to your site. If you adjust the settings below, then copy and paste the code to your website. We do not have syndication rights to allow you to host our results on your site, i.e. in a frame. When user clicks on the result, they were taken. When user clicks on the results, they will instead be taken to our site. That's not good. I don't want that. You may also make install your own link, click the search at the bottom of the ring fireball blog. Okay, how does this work? If it works for John Gruber, maybe it's gonna work for me. I mean, if it work if it does work for him, then like I I like I'm in. Um get that going. Oh actually hang on one second. I just realized. I am all over the place today. So I've got a keyboard maestro thing. I didn't mean to do be right back there. I meant to do blur. Um, that goes through and checks various things for me. Um, including like letting me review all my open applications. But that part hasn't been firing. And so I hadn't gone through and looked at my sublime text. I just need to make sure there's not work stuff in there. Basically what's going on. Um, 
I would keep that floor. I, I would have caught it actually if I had if I had gone all the way through everything, but I was kind of rushing again. Um, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. See, most of the most of the checklist manifesto checklist manifesto most of the um, keyboard maestro thing works. Checklist manifesto keyboard maestro. Okay, I can see why I got confused. But like sometimes it it fails and i think i know what's going on i think it ha it's just sending commands and there's no way for it to get information back when a process is finished like it ha it's sending something i think to the finder for example but i i'm guessing there's no signal coming back because it sends stuff out to the finder and you can see stuff starting to happen but it's already doing other things and then i've got a little note that happens at the end of the process and that note pops up and there's still things happening so there's some asynchronous stuff going on there uh, that's tricky um, and not particularly good. Um, but my guess is that's just the way that, that, based off how complicated and how impressive that application is, I'm gonna guess there's no a better way to do it. Um, I've got some ideas for how to kind of hack around that a little bit. Um, let me close that since the GIF isn't running today. Um, where basically what you would do is like if you're moving windows around, what you would do is move a window, set a timer for like a half second and then check the window position because that's, that's something that it can do a data back around. And then you just verify that the window has been moved before you move on to the next step. Um, which I'm, Kind of surprised that's not built in, actually, now that I think about it. Um, okay, these are all good. I should have done all this off stream, but whatever. Yeah, welcome to the setup. Um, those are all good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'll clear that anyways, just because it's junky. Oh, look at that. That's still up. Nice. Uh, that's good. Uh, actually, I wonder. Um. Oh, this is open still. Okay. Oh no, that was me. Oh, during fireball didn't load. Ah, something's funky. All right, I'm almost done. Those are good, those are good, those are good. I think I've been through everything. I have. Sweet, come back here. You're here. That's fine. And we're back. And it's good, oh, that's funny. Oh, okay, so this keyboard goes away. Oh, I move. Oh, that's funny, I should center that up so that I don't jump around when I do that. And also the window pane moves a little bit. Whatever, it's blurred out. I mean, that's the whole point, right? Um, all right, let's go look at, so he's got search here. Test. Duck, duck, go. Site during fireball test. Um, oh, crap, see, I really want the results. I really want the results on my, on my thing. Embed, Google, search. See, that's the trick. But this gives them all the analytics stuff or all the tracking stuff, which I've already got Google Analytics on my site, but I'm looking to do, um, and this is also good timing. These people got attacked. Like a DNS attack on them, oh, and I wish I remember, I get, I'll find it in my links if I need to. Um, AWS, DNS, Shield, DDoS, Shield, Analytics. See, that gets us there even though I spelled it wrong. Somebody just got a, uh, DDoS.
Um, company. Uh, customers. Analytics. I want to see if I can find this place. Like I gotta be a heap. No. No. Oh, so this would be. Oh, we can we can put the time in here. So this would be. So tools. Past week, maybe. Got it. I just want to see if I can search my way through it just as a like little exercise. Jack Ellis. He's the he's a Amazon person. History of data breaches. Google stops for a cyber attack. No, oh, Cloudflare was in there too. I'm looking for words. That were in the uh in the post. I'm also I'm a little zoned today, so like this will be a little chill and slow or whatever. I'm just going to scroll for a minute. I guess I should talk while I'm doing this. So I got a Discord going on here. And I know I saw it in this Discord. I just don't really remember when it was and how far back it was. All right, let me look in one other place and I'm just going to ask a question. Like, I don't want to just like ask the question in there if it's like, you know, three scrolls back or whatever. Nope, 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 nope. No. Uh Yeah, actually I should do this. Uh Anybody remember the analytics company that got hit with the giant DDoS recently? Can't seem. I want to take a look at them, but can't seem to dig up the link. All right, it's gonna be on this next page right here. Oh, it's a bummer, like I really, privacy first, analytics, DDoS. Privacy focus and uh, 
Maybe it was two weeks ago. Past month. Cloudflare. Fathom Analytics. That was it. November 29th. I th I'm pretty sure this is them. Where's their site? There isn't something to hide. Demo, no cookies. Developers. Where's a blog? Someone's actually from company. Simple privacy first EDRP analytics with no cookie notices required. Simple lightweight privacy first alternative to Google Analytics. Stop scrolling through pages of reports and collect gobs of personal data about your visitors, both of which you probably don't need. Our website stats show on a single blazing fast dashboard that makes decisions. Makes these make business decisions. Yeah, I like. The trade-off with Google, okay, whatever, but like, this is of interest to me. Uh, here, let's view a live demo. Chimp Essentials, Fathom Analytics for Chimp Essentials. Start your free trial. Bounce rate 52, average site, anytime. Refers. Yeah, so this is also, actually, hang on a second. Let me go. I just want to pull up. So I use Google Analytics, right? Um, actually, let me do this. Uh, ooh, cancel, cancel, cancel. Yeah, so I want to see. Uh, oops, an Antec. I haven't been there in forever. How did that come up? Analytics, Google. Google Analytics. I'm gonna do this on the other screen for a second. I'll I'll bring it over here. I just I'm not sure what it shows to start with. Or what it shows in general. My. What is going on? I really should buy fiber. Like, oh, they changed everything again. Uh, mobile app lets you create your own reports. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, like, try the new Google Analytics mobile app. Dismiss. I don't need that. Um, we're excited to announce new design. Yes, dismiss. Um. Active users right now, zero. Uh, ask analytics. 
I'm just going to scroll down here for a second, just make sure everything's... I don't think there's anything... Uh, particularly whatever in here. Um, yeah, so I'll be fine. You can't see anything. I just want to make sure I'm not going to flash anything like... That, oh, like, that's security hole, basically. Um, I don't think this will. Okay, so cool. Whatever, home. Yeah, so... Uh, used to be able to do real, or real time, uh, time ranges. I was going to see. So, right, we've got users, sessions, bounce rate. Everybody looks at one page and leaves. Session duration, 19 seconds. So, cool. Uh, traffic, organic. So, uh, like, I'm not super worried about this. Source medium. Google organic, direct none, DuckDuckGo. Oh, look at they got DuckDuckGo in there. Bing. Referrals. Okay. I was not expecting French search Yahoo to be the highest one. Of course it's three, so like, you know, whatever. The that graph makes it look like it's amazing coming in or whatever, but like Somehow French search Yahoo got to me. That's awesome. So that's kind of funny. So is that in there? Uh, with their ref do they have refers? Yeah, refers. Okay, here you go. Yeah, and they give you the full do domain. Okay, so that that's got that. Um, uniques, visitors, average time on site, bounce rate, goal completion. See, I don't care about like I don't have goals for the site like. And this is funny because like my philosophy here is part of me is like, I want to take all the analytics stuff off, but there's like a vanity thing to it, right? Like I want, so I don't, I'm not interested in tracking users. I'm thinking about this, like with the digital garden thing. And I like the idea of having like a, you know, if you go into, and I'm thinking more like a zoo, but the garden's the same thing. But like when you go to the zoo, we count the number of people that go into the zoo. Like that's really what I'm looking for. I don't care too much about, cause like some people talk about like, Hey, look at your analytics and see like which style posts do whatever. I don't care about that. Or I'm not going to make decisions about that. Like it's entertaining for me to go look and see which posts have. All right. I really hope this isn't going to show anything funky. All right. Let me just, I know this one's okay. So let me just get on this one for a second. Um, but yeah, so here, right? How long is this, by the way? What time period is this? No one knows. November 27th, so this is a week, okay. Last seven days, well, it says it right there. Last seven days, it says it right there, okay, got it. Got it, got it, got it. Oh, this is funny, this is not dissimilar from what my site looks like now, right? That's kind of funny. Just windows. Um, so I'm interested in this anecdotally in terms of like, it's always fun for me to see. And I kind of want to see, you know, whatever pages report. Uh, okay, what's it going to do? Let's see. Page views, average page view. Oh, see, so yeah, convert Ruby array into keys of new hash. People spend some time on that page, right? Because it's a code thing. Um, if we click on this. So this, I believe, Saturday, November 28th was the Iron Bowl. Like, that's fun. Because, like, the Iron Bowl, so... Uh, this is a page that compares the University of Alabama, uh, where I went to school, their logo with, uh, which is Alabama, which is a U.S. football team, uh, American football team, college, U.S. No, American college football team. That's what it is. And then baseball, the Atlanta Braves, and the their logos look very similar. Uh, let's see if this breaks it out. Why did that go to that page? Oh, <gasps> that went to the old site. Oh no. That 
is going to the www like the old version of the site. The, the old version's still alive. Oh, that's pretty funny. I, I probably have way more traffic than there then. But like, so this is the Braves logo and this is the Alabama logo. And if you just see them one at a time from a distance, it's kind of hard to tell what's going on if you don't really know what to look for. Like side by side, it makes it kind of obvious. But if you just see one or the other, it's a little bit like, which one is that? And the, the trick is what's called a cap line, um, which is this little thing up here. Some people call it the mullet. Um, but I wrote this post in 2013 and it consistently, well, actually, okay, I'm going to, this is, I'm going to get vain now. This is what's going to be happening just because I haven't done this in a while. Um, so I need to go, let's go to Firefox to pull up a clean browser. Uh, Bama versus Braves logo. Oh, this is actually in DuckDuckGo. We'll see what this does. Ah, I got it on DuckDuckGo Go too. So this, this usually gets the first if you're trying to compare the, the two logos and you do Bama versus Braves logo as the search term, I'm the first thing. Um, in fact, these are my images. Um, so like, that's cool, right? Uh, like, I, and like, that's cool. Like I'm, a, I'm a little happy about that. I'm a little, I'm a little key about that. So I like looking every now and then at like that number. Um, and I'm, I'm a little surprised too, that the Ruby one's that high. Um, there's also a Jekyll one that's in here. Probably there's a Jekyll date, date post that I wrote that's usually up there. Yeah. This one, um, did I just, I went through and I made a whole bunch of Jekyll stuff, but like, I don't need to know, I don't need to know that that's high. Like that style of like these two, actually all three of these things were things that I was interested in that I wanted to do and I did them to do them for me and for everybody. So like, I'm not going to change, like I'm not companies go through and like they're trying to figure out the analytics like, Oh, well, like what, like if you're ad driven and your goal is to keep people on the site as much as possible, one of the ways that you can do that is to go dig through your analytics and figure out what works. That's like 100% the way if, if that is your goal, that's the thing to do. That's just not my goal. Right? So, and like, sometimes that stuff gets a little unfortunate because cool stuff that could be out there that may not get as much traffic just doesn't get the support internally. And sometimes it happens where things don't get to grow. It's neat that I've had the pleasure of working with an organization where that actually is allowed to happen some, um, or more than most places I've seen. Um, it's like, that's pretty awesome. But like, that's not, that's not anywhere in my view here. Like, I don't care about that. Um, but I would, but I do want to know how many people are coming. Like that's, and that's just, it's a, it's a pure vanity thing. Um, and like Ellen, that, Hey, it saw me coming in on Firefox. That's kind of creepy. Like, see, that's a little level of like, yee, but like, I'm sure the other one probably does it too. Um, but so let me look at one other thing here. So I'm going to blur this out for a second just to make sure nothing. Yeah, whatever this is. So this is just the user report. Um, and like, yeah, there's nothing really in here. Like, I, I don't, I don't care about all of this. Um, technology, eh, you know, whatever, what browser they're using, what OS they're using. Sure. Okay. That could be a little interesting, but like my numbers are probably not going to be very far off of the global internet numbers. So I can just go look that stuff up. Um, and I don't like, whatever. It's interesting. Sure. But like, it's not, I've. I've probably looked at this page twice in the 15 years that I've had the site. So question becomes, where did the other page go? There it is. Fathom analytics for chip essentials. Okay. So yeah, so we got some basics and is this, 
So the question is, is this their full thing? Which could be fine. Like, it's kind of neat to have all the big goal stuff and like, or all the big crazy stuff in Google um, and go all over the place. But like, does this show you, does it show you individual, yeah, individual pages. So traffic and pages. Refers, sure. Country, okay. Browser, okay, there's the browser stuff right there. Device, sure. Actually, this would be this would be helpful for me. And this is helpful for anybody, is just to see like the traffic. Um out of curiosity. Like I'm I'm doing mobile first development. Um, but it would be interesting to just to see what percentage. Because I expect, for example, that Ruby page is probably not people on iPhones, it's probably people on desktops um, or laptops or whatever, computers, because they're probably coding at that point and they're probably not doing that on their phone. Um, so the question is, what do they charge? Because like this is this gets into the thing, right? Uh, demo pricing. Fathom Analytics. Hey, what's up, Max? How goes it? Happy Friday to Friday. May we all have more Fridays and Mondays off. How about that? I'm just looking through, uh, yeah, thanks, you too. Um, I'm just looking through some analytics stuff. Like I've got Google Analytics on my site right now. Oh, it's 14 bucks a month. Oh, you've been using Fathom? Nice. What do you think? Good stuff? Like, thumbs up? Like, 14 bucks a month. Eee. That's not... Okay, grand scheme of things, not that big a deal. But, like, I almost never look at my analytics. And, like... Oh, hey, thanks for the follow, too. Appreciate that. Um, I almost never look at my analytics. And I'm also half of me is thinking that it would also be an interesting project. So I serve my stuff off S3 and CloudFront to actually go through, I don't think it would be, and this is one of those I'm probably gonna regret saying this, I don't think it would be a giant effort to figure out how to basically just use logs to to do some analytics, some basic analytics stuff um, for anything that I need. Cause like, I just look like, I'm basically looking for page views and page views. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm 100. I've got no problem paying for service, um, if if it's a service that I'm wanting and using. It's also a little bit tough to compete with free, right? With Google, but they're of course getting all the the Google stuff, which increase. Like I'm I'm moving away from Google one way or the other. I got to figure out how to do that. Um, I don't think Google is evil. It's just. That's not a way that I want to do stuff, right? Um, if you're a business and you're doing all that stuff, that's fine. I'm not a business, so I got to balance. I got to. I got to balance. Oh, they have a self-hosting option. Oh, they really, really. You don't say. Uh, Twitter podcast law and privacy. Fathom, GitHub. Fathom, uh, simple and we're probably... Client trading, problem is, if you aren't paying for the product, we are the product. That is the best philosophy I've heard. Um, I like that one. I've heard that from several different people and I agree with it 100%. Press Libraries Pro. If you like become a customer, you can sign up for this link. Installation. If you can install Fathom, a simple instruction. Oh, okay. So you can, yeah. So you can legit. Of course, I have to set up a server, which is probably going to cost me about the same much. Because, like, right now, well, I've got a server, but that's, I'm decommissioning that before long. Um, hey, you got it too, right? <laughs> um, put you over there so I can see you. 
Fathom up and running. I actually, so I'm actually pretty good to play with this. Also because I've never done Docker stuff for real. I mean, we do it at work and I've helped with it a little bit, but I've never like done one myself. So I may just play around with this as a thing to play around with. This is cool. Thank you for the point. That's awesome. So we're going to throw that into site. Whoops, wrong. And Hugo and to investigate and analytics. That should let me get back to it. Um, that's really sweet. Yeah, I just. And this and like their dashboard, you're like you're just looking at it, right? Like that's fine for what I need. Um, yeah, so I'm probably gonna do the free demo. Um, the I'll have to like put in my email address and do all that other stuff. I'm sure. So like. I don't want to, ah, you know what? Actually, sure, why not? I can blur the screen. I'm still newish to the streaming stuff. Well, I'm still new to the streaming stuff. So it's like, I get really apprehensive about like doing something silly. Fathom, why isn't it coming up? There's Twitter, here it is. No, oh, no, no, oh, wow. I saw a free trial. There's a free trial button down here somewhere. Pricing demo free trial. Uh, oh yeah, and they want a credit card. Yeah, see, I don't want to do that right yet. Just because I'll forget. Oh, you meant the demo? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the oh yeah, yeah, the demo. Sorry, yeah, yeah, the demo. Right. I was looking. I was, sorry. Yes, I was looking at that. This one. Yeah, um, and like I was just looking at this. This is all that's all I need, right? I was just looking and I was just looking at the first page of my Google Analytics thing, um, which I don't know which where it is. It's over here somewhere. Maybe. Where is it? Well, it disappeared. Oh, there we go. So like they have a few different like, here's basically the same thing. I don't care about geography, like times of day, like, sure. Okay. But like, really the thing I'm interested in, right, is the, is the links. Um, I just, and not because I want to try and duplicate that. I'm just curious and a little vain about it. So, um, oh, it's all good. I, I saw it. I've been kicking around. So yeah, I'd seen it. Um, about 30 seconds before you got here. I wasn't actually sure if you were here when I was watching it, so, or looking at it. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll install that. That's probably not a tonight project. I want to read over that a little bit more and that's a little boring on stream. Um, I want to get a little better about doing stuff faster on stream. Um, but yeah, this is, I'll, I'll do this. I like this. Um, but the one that, what I started this on was search because I was trying to do, so DuckDuckGo has search that you can put on your site. Um, oh, do you use, do you have search on your site? What do you use for search? That would be my follow-up question to you. Um, because I can put this on my site, but it bounces, it only shows, it. when you search, it goes to DuckDuckGo for the results page. And I'd rather not do that. And I know you can do like the custom search for Google. And I think you can keep that on your site. But again, that's the Google stuff. And I'm kind of like trying to slide away from that. Hmm. Match shorter. Oops. Hang on. Got to go to the wrong. Uh, copy address. Match order is simple, like determined by sorting of an array in JavaScript. Thousands of items, you want to filter them intelligently. So, okay, so this is one of those interesting things, right? So my site right now is in, um, it's built off Hugo. So like, it's just 
straight static HTML pages. There's no like React or anything behind there. So I don't have right now, because to do this, if I'm file, if I follow this, and this is a question, you go, you basically load all your stuff. Well, actually, do you do this on the server or do you do it on the client? I was going to assume server. I mean, excuse me, I was going to assume client. Um, because I've heard, and I'm, I read about six chapters of React book now. That's how much I know about it. But it sounds like you've actually bundled everything, like all the content, as one world, and then push that up. Client, yeah, okay, gotcha. Um, that's super interesting. It's been years since I've really done web stuff, and like it's changed so much like with those full like with the rack stuff and the apps and the client and the full like client builds and all that stuff that didn't exist when i was when i was really doing it so like i'm still getting my head around the idea of it um and i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit weird <laughs> uh because that was like it wasn't a thing and also i kind of freak out a little bit with like you're gonna send everything down <laughs> at one time really <laughs> And I get it, like, I get it, I get it, I get it, but like, it still, still freaks me out a little bit. Also, I don't use NPM stuff yet, so, um, but like, that'd be awesome to not have to do anything. Simple, so actually, I'm going to play around with this. We're going to play around with this. Um, it only calls it for the page, not every page, so it works fine. It only calls it. Yeah, and just use it without React, right? I gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's all re it's all just JavaScript. It's all it, like that's the thing, right? It's all JavaScript and HTML at the bottom, because that's what browsers know, right? Um, it's just figuring out how to like sometimes detaching the stuff. Like I I I built um, when I was messing with my site, I just used Tailwind, and it took me I don't know, and thirty five minutes an hour to figure out. Eh, probably not that long, half an hour, whatever to figure out how to like build a Tailwind CSS file that was just a CSS file that I could then rip out and then drop in my site. Um, CSS, same way, right? Um, you wanna filter those items intelligently. Uh, solves it simple and social use it friendly algorithm. Okay, okay, cool. Strength game makes sense to people's minds. This is just mine. Feedback of them. Cool. All right, installation. All right, I'm gonna try it. We'll see what happens. Let's see if I can get it to go. This will be the experiment of the evening. And like, so here's the funny thing for me with this stuff is like half of the streams that I'm doing, like I've got no idea what I'm doing. Um, so sometimes they are clunky. Uh, but that's how it goes. Uh, yeah, so import match shorter from match shorter. Advanced keys. Um, uh, okay, hang on. For values, nested values. Proprietary callbacks. Wait, is this for like a f page, like searching on a page or searching like all your pages? Because you'd have to load. Yeah, right. You're just out there and be like, hey. <laughs> Ta-da. Um, T or gray. Oh, well, I guess you could just drop the content in. The arrays. Match many words across multiple fields. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not really going to have fields. It's just like content blobs. I need a portrait like this. Like, I got to find... And I know there's people out there. I just got to hire one of them to give me a cool 
uh, painting for Avatar, whatever. Fuzzy search mental multiple words. Yeah, so filter. So would you do? From a data source down, and then that's your function. Okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Um. Da, 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 da. Where's the? So, where does it go? Like, so this is gonna be the trick that I gotta figure out, right? Is I don't have this as an option with what I'm doing. So how do we get to it? Oh, is it just, if there's just a JavaScript file in there that I can grab? It's probably a bunch of files there, right? Also, I completely lost that tab. We're gonna pull you right out here. Uh, not certain how it worked with Hugo. Yeah, so I'm, I'll, I'll, here, we'll, I'll take a look for a minute and then if it goes sideways quickly, Tests. Oh, TypeScript. Six days ago. See, that may be it. For window match order. Okay. Um. So is this? This may be it. Match order. Recent items. Or remove accents, remove accents, okay. So he's only, or they're only important one thing here. Type. All right, uh, TypeScript to JavaScript. Convert TypeScript to JavaScript. Visual Studio Code looks like it has a thing. Compiling type so TypeScript. This type superset. Install the TypeScript compiler. Okay, let's do this. I uh, I had a homebrew update when I was trying to install some software for something for work that completely freaked out everything on my system now. So now I'm like, yeah, whatever. Just I don't care. Install anything. It's all cool. Uh. You don't need to install a types compiler either globally or on your workspace. Okay, we just did it globally. Oh no, G. Yeah, I did a G. Okay, cool. You can test it by doing this. Looks like it worked. Another option is all types of compiler locally in your NPM. Save the okay, whatever. Compiler versus language service. It's important to keep in mind that. VS Code's TypeScript language service is separate when you open a TypeScript file. Okay, here, let's just do this and see what happens. Um, I don't know where my stuff is right now. Okay, this is it. Uh, oh, I need to bump my font because I haven't done that yet. Oh, it's so big. We're going to bump it down one tonight, just because that's aggressive. Oh, to do the compile? Uh, that's cool. We'll see what happens. Uh, let me just make a directory here. Oh, so many files. Uh, wait, give me a directory. Is this a directory? Every time I do this, it makes a directory in the wrong place for me. There we go. Okay, I got it. Scratchpad. Uh, match thing. I forget what it's called. And then we'll just do this. It's an easy way to get in here. Um, match. So our. T E R 
dot ts. Hmm, it's close. If you put an s there instead of an x, it's actually the uh, the thing. Ts. Whoop. And then we come back here, and we come over here. Yeah. Show me raw, please. There it is. All right. So if we do that, and we take this out. Uh, cool. Actually, let me, so let's save this, close this, and open it back again. I don't know why it keeps going to index. Oh, because it's open. I was hoping I would offer to install stuff. Um, okay, whatever. Uh, oh, you can probably just do it. I can probably just do it from the command line, right? TSC is a thing. So, woodshed, site, prod, scratch pad, match thing. Man, TSC, is that gonna work? Nope. Uh, TSC help. Many of things are happening here. Okay. Options, file. Uh, so we just do it to hello TS. All right. Um, just make a backup copy. Dot back dot dot back dot ts and then tsc match sorter ts. Nope, went boom. Cannot find name remove accents. I thought I took that out. Oh, I did take it out. Maybe I shouldn't have. Of course, if he's importing it, they're using it for something. Uh, oh, there it is. It made one. Cool. Hopefully we can just include that. If I undo, is that going to get there? Nope. Uh, how about you? Come right on back here. Uh, ba -ba 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 Found, ah, oh, still six errors. That's not cool. Did it save? Property starts with does not exist on type string. Do you need to change your target library? Try changing the lib compiler TS 2015 or later. Okay. Same error, same error, same error, same error. Cannot find name remove accents. Thought we just added that back in. Import remove accents. Oh, I probably have to install that. Is probably what that is, right? npm npm install g. Is that what it is? Is that how you do that? Oh, not G? Oh. I don't know NPM or Node. <laughs> uh, oops. Is that is that like really bad or just like kind of bad? Uh, yeah, so I, th I think... Genius little sauce of global. It's only kind of bad. Okay, cool. Is there a way to back out of that, or do I just not worry about it right now until something actually catches on fire? Oops. I again, I haven't done any of this stuff really before, so like I'm just like, but I'm I've hit. I'm in like this interesting headspace where I'm just like, let's do it. Let's see what happens. That is not a thing that I used to be like. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. Uh, not valid, not found. Um, 
Okay, well, that was only one error, and that was probably for remove accent marks, so maybe that'll be fine. But let, how do you change the library? We got to figure that out because I think that's going to be important. Um, where's that window? Uh, you know, if I was smart, I would go here. Oh, this is it. Right there. I knew it was close. Oh, no, I'm looking for TSC, which is here. So does this have a link over to TypeScript? I was going to see if like TSC had its own like page. TypeScript TSC documentation. This sounds delightful. Oh, but yeah, should remove, you should install it. Roger that. Goodbye. Cool. Okay, okay, so that's how you uninstall stuff. Our uninstall is pretty clean on, on NPM. Like, I would assume, like, because it's a modern package manager. Um, but I don't know if that's like one of those, like if you install something and then take it back out, if things go sideways, weird and weird ways or whatever, um, I know that can happen. Run the compiler. Cool. Compiler options. Lib string. Okay, here we go. So we probably, oops, I'm guessing one of these is 2015. Oh, look at that. It's over there. All right, I got to bump the font size so I can see what's going on. 2015 core. So we're just going to do TSC two dashes or one? Dos. Lib that 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 hmm cannot uh oh <laughs> cannot find global type boolean or number that sounds bad um command install but the uninstall is clean okay cool Start on the friendly pretty panelists. Okay, cool. Right on. Um so if that's hang on a second, because that's a different error, right, than we got here. I want to see if this gives us the same errors. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is new, I think. Yeah, so it wants this. Let's just give it that and see what happens. I didn't see that as one of the list. Oh, maybe the list is sorted with capitals and whatever's not working. There we go. Um, so remove accents. Sure, that's fine. This TS expect error directive is unused. Okay, that's fine. It's more of a warning. Um, I just want to prove this point. So I'm going to delete the JS file and just run it one more time. Okay, and then so code, here's a JS file that looks like JavaScript. Nice. All right, let's put that somewhere. Uh, you copy static, nope. Uh, I always forget where things go here. <laughs> Yellow. <laughs> Let's do it, right? 
Let's do it. Uh, okay, here's asset CSS or SCSS. No, okay. I thought I was in the static. Maybe it's an assets. Asset CSS. Tail data images layouts. Assets static. I think this. Actually, don't even know if I copied it. I should probably have done that. Copy. I think this goes to site root. Asset JavaScript. Yeah, I, th I think you can do that too. It does some, like, if you look in the layouts, uh, wherever the head is. This structure always freaks me out. Like I just, I every time I look at it, I get lost. But like it does some com compilation stuff and compiling and then jump stuff around a little bit. But I think if I use this static directory, it's just like, cause here's fave icon, which is at the root, right? I think. Um, so I think if I do that, this is the head of document. So script. Uh oh, how do you call a script? It's been a minute. Uh, call external JavaScript. It's script href, is that? It's kind of embarrassing. Source. Uh, so what do we do? We did... It should just be the site root, I think. M A T E C H sorter dot js. Right? Is that gonna explode? No shame at all. I appreciate that. Well, it's funny. So, like, one of the things that I'm one of the reasons I like doing this is to show. Like, I mean, I kind of know what I'm doing, right? But like, not with this stuff. So I actually like showing the not knowing part of it. Like that's, I think that's a valuable thing to do, right? Um, to like, it's, just, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I'm still like, how do you do a script? <laughs> that that one's a little bit like, oh, but that's part of it, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know, it's cool. Uh, now we just gotta figure out if this is gonna work. So let's find the site. I don't even know if it's live right now. Yeah, it is. Okay. So let's just see if we can hit the file first. Uh, match sorter.js, right? M A T C H sorter sorter. Okay, so the file's there. Okay, so we got something we can hit. So that's the, and this should be calling it now in the head. So that should give us everything. Um, okay. So now we figure out how to use it. I go. Oh, also pin this, please. JavaScript site. Hugo. Mm, that'll work. Oh, actually, I'm getting better about putting descriptions in here. Uh, this is the JavaScript search tool. You're working with as of date. Update bookmark. Match sorter. Here we go. So let's see what we got going on again. Installation, usage. Okay, we're not doing any of that. Or wait, console. Oh, okay, okay. So match sorter. Console is match sorter. 
Ray values nested. So, ba ba ba. Okay, so I need to. Oh wait, is this gonna be like a insta return? This is interesting. I don't. I really don't know what's gonna happen here. Recipes. Oh, it's got regex. Cool. Match words across multiple tables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Inspiration, other solutions. All right, so. Gotcha, okay. So, oh, oh, okay, so. Okay. All right. Uh, this gives me thoughts. So the way that I'm doing, the way that I'm doing, first things first, right? So I rebuilt my page last night and I took everything away. And now, um, instead of having like the chronology, I read uh, I, the post by a person named Joel Hooks, I think. Um, and one of the things they were talking about is, you know, the, the thing that like most blogs are just like collections of links chronologically. And my, the stuff that I've been doing recently, I've, I've been doing a bunch of streams. So I'd have stream notes. It was really like a sentence and then a link to the video. And then I've got a, a thing where I, um, track all the URLs that I go to every day and then just post those links after filtering them. But so my, my blog was nothing but those for like 10 days and then like one post down here. So not only was it not good chronologically in, in general, but like it also really didn't work because of that. So I just took all that stuff away and now this is just random across all of the things on my site. Like, um, and if you refresh, like you get a completely different set. So I'm just like, this is all experimental, right? I'm doing the digital garden thing. Um, but so what's cool is I've got, because of the way that I'm doing that, where am I going? I'm going somewhere in themes. Oh, single up here. No index. Where's my index? We're going to back off this for a second, back off this for a second, back off this for a second. There's index markdown, not helpful. Title, I have a bunch of stuff open because I was messing with it. Summary, JS card randomizer. I don't remember what that is. Index, here we go. Um, think of it like filter in JavaScript. I don't know what filter is. I mean, I can guess, but I've never used dot filter in JavaScript. Um, I mean, it, filter probably does what I expect that it does, right? Um, uh, MDN JavaScript dot filter. Uh, filter creates, okay, creates a new array that passes te tests. Okay, so I got an array, words filter, word, word length is greater than six. Okay, so this is your, this is your test. If it passes the test, the thing that you put into it. So right here's the array. In the array, we go through each item in the array here on Word. We still have access to Word, so we grab its length. If it's more than six, put it on this array. Result. Exuber. Okay, 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 okay. I think I got that. Um. No, hey, la so things are ridiculous. Like, I, uh, you will you would have to work incredibly mean and hard to offend me. Um, so like, that's just not a thing. Cause I, I don't, I, I can't, I can't see that ever coming out of you. 
Um, I mean, I don't know you that well, so maybe I'm wrong. In which case, please don't hurt me. Um, but uh, yeah, I think I think is it. Um, like a big face palm. So, oh, but you raise, the, but that's the the most interesting thing to me about this is the dance to try and figure out where somebody is. So like in my gig for the longest time, I worked with non-technical people and I could make that assumption all the time. Now I work with really technical people and I'm having to completely rewire the habit of my approach to dealing with people because like very rarely am I gonna hit something that they don't know about. Except, of course, our domains aren't complete overlaps. So I'm still trying to figure out the best language to use to like, we need we need like some type of language. It's like, look, I recognize you're smart. I'm going to ask you a question about a thing. I'm legitimately asking if you just know it or not. If you do, cool. If you don't, cool. Like, I'm not making an assumption either way. Like, but we don't have that, right? At least not yet. I think we need to, I want to work on that. Um, anyways, sorry, getting all philosophical, uh, which is not bad. It's just sometimes focus is necessary. Um, also I'm in a kind of a good, weird mood. So like, it's a good, weird mood. I like it. Um, all right. So we got, we have an idea of what filter is now. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so here, oh yeah, so here's the good thing about, or the, the potentially helpful thing here is the way that I'm doing this to produce all those random links is I'm actually just looping through the entire set of data on the site or the entire set of titles for all the articles on the site or posts, and then throwing those into an array. And then I grab a hundred of 19 of them at random because that would, that's what gives you, um, That's what makes it stop on. Oh, actually, yeah, it depends on what size the browser is. Yeah, so sometimes I keep extra ones there, whatever. So 119 was a number. Um, but because of that, I can populate. I can populate this same array with all that for the titles. That's not the full content, but this will be step one, right? Make some progress. Um, Put you over here again so I can see you. I don't have a big enough monitor to actually see really chat. And my I'm still not. My setup is still not. I think it's room for improvement. How about that? It's fine. It's great. Like, I'm super lucky to be able to do this. So. Um, all right. So we're getting pages. Pages gets a push from render summary. So we just had summary open, but we don't want summary because that includes HTML in it. So what we're going to need to do is A, we need to find summary because again, I swear they move every single time. It's amazing. Summary. Okay, gotcha. And then so what we're going to do here is new file that we're just going to call um, search title thing. Um, uh, search title? Search title. Okay, whatever. Close enough. And then for that, if we take our summary and just grab that title here. Uh huh. Okay, so I think, okay, this is gonna be interesting because I don't actually remember. I think Hugo might make this JavaScript safe, putting it in there. I'm assuming because these haven't exploded. Um, but we shall see. So that's const pages. So we're gonna do const search titles. And then here, we're going to do the same thing with render 
And if you'd ask me to come up with this code, I couldn't. This is all just, I'm cutting things and pasting them all over the place. Um, which, like, I'm not ashamed of that at all. Uh, where? Render summary. No, what's the, oh, search title. That's what I was looking for. Search title. Nope, did that backwards. Search title. Um, okay, so that's got that. I'm just trying to do a tone test here just to like see if I can make one thing happen with like the simplest, like the simplest step basically. Um, so match sorter list H, hello. Okay, so let's see. So we're gonna try and do, it's gonna return a list. So match sorter search titles here. Uh, do we know if this is case insensitive? Um, I'm trying to think, well, actually, I guess I can just look at the page and pick a title. Um, what's a good thing? Sunset. All right, here we go. Sunset. Sunset. Whoops. Nope. Right. S U N S E T. I'm not the best speller. Uh, and so that goes into a list of title matches mat chs if i'm reading this right um and so all we're gonna do right now can you just i can just console log this right all right cross your fingers uh also bring up the console that's not the console. That's the console. Oh, sad face. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, oops. Can't find variable exports. Uh oh. Undefined is not an object. Can't find variable exports. Line 19. Line 19, exports. Uh, Google. Reference error, can't find things, exports. Can't reproduce. TS just in front causes TS to bail with source root. Once I remove source root options, there are no references to exports. Hmm. Okay. These are all from 2017, which is not super great. There you go. I uh, can't find local. No. Eh, whatever. Let's look at that one. Uh, okay. SK, this does not look like the same thing. Module export sketch. Nope, not helpful. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Jasmine. I used Jasmine before. Let's come start. This is not in the direction we need. So this is helpful I mean, in terms of. Oh, here we go. One of these. I have a feeling using TypeScript 2, which has updated the way it finds the definition files. I'm using this with Webpack. Types in a TSD. Do I need a TS? 
Everything references that. I've never used Webpack before. Um, module export, Wallaby configure. Oh, uh, I'll... Exclude, this doesn't have exports in it, does it? Exports. Doesn't, okay, Wallaby. All right, let's see if we can figure this out. Exports. Oh. <laughs> now that I actually read the name of the file and recognize that that is exactly the name of the application with on fig after it, yeah. That sounds like a pretty solid thing, um, but but you can probably do it via the command line, right? Um, if that's if that's the thing. Can I grep? Is there export in there? Negative. Uh, let's go back to the TSC page. That's not it. Uh, I don't remember where it was. We may go find it again. TSC type script. Documentation, there we go. Oh, it's was literally the next one. Export. Allow synthetic default imports, Boolean. Allow default imports from modules with no default export. Hmm. Oh, you shot, yeah. I've, I went to a workshop at one point where they were doing TypeScript and it didn't, I'm not religious about any of this stuff, but I was just like, eh, that doesn't, it didn't feel right for me, especially at the time. Um, and also I just haven't done it. Um, ooh, config reference. Look at this. This might be helpful. Oh, exclude. Wait. What word are we looking for? Exports. Not excludes. I got excited. Allow JS export constant. Modules out exports. Is this maybe that we're using the wrong JavaScript version? Is there a more recent? Where were those JavaScript versions? Lib, here we go. Let's just try ES6. Or seven. 2018. No, wait. That was two years ago. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, still can't find and remove accents. Actually, I want to Google that real quick. I don't, I don't expect that to be related, right? These are all, oh, there we go. Code, nah. Whatever, I'm not worried about it. Um, unused error, okay, so that's fine. All right, so let's, let's do something that's gonna be helpful here, which is first we're gonna move this into um, our root. So let's remember where that is, nope. Woodshed out, nope. That was the wrong way all the way around. Oh, I know what's going on. Um, prod. Oh, no, I don't remember where it is. I just want to put this in the place so I can just generate it again and not have to mess with it. Layouts. 
Uh-oh, this is going to be tricky. Prod, themes, tail. Not going to lie, this is a little hard to see. Static, match, TS. Because this way, we can just do that once. Okay, yeah, right, okay, that's gonna, yeah, we'll see, right? Right, uh, we'll fire it up, see what happens. I'm gonna need more Sprite in just a second. I got another one over there, so it's, we're okay. Um, so I should just be able to rerun this, right? Where'd it go? One, two, three, go. Same errors, okay, that's fine. And now this should have updated. So we rerun this. Nope. Wah wah. Still line 19. So it's still doing the same thing. Just to make sure. I'm assuming it would have told me if it didn't override it or like, you know, bombed on it or something, but like, just make sure. Uh, there it is, yeah. Oh, I feel like we're close. What does this line actually do? I feel like that's probably dangerous, but can't find reference. Oh, line 34. There's gonna be a bunch of them. Default base sort function. Exports. Can we just create like a match sorter, match sorter. So wait, where's match sorter used? Whoops. S O R T E R sorter. Go. Function match sorter exports. I don't know what those are doing. Like, I don't expect this to work at all, but we'll see what happens. It's essentially, affords us the ability to use them from one file to another. Oh, okay. So then we may really not need them because everything should be here. Yeah, right. Um,. Ah, we got down to, we killed, okay, we cleared, cleared, cleared that one. It's not like actually exporting anything, is it now? Okay. Can't find variable remove accents. Okay, let's get rid of that. This is what I did on my website last night, or on the, the, it's weird for me to start calling it the garden. I'm going to try and lean into that a little bit, like my garden. Like digital garden is like one too many words. I was thinking like, would Digin work? But it sounds good in the head, but not out loud. Um, den, oh, my den. I really like that. Hopefully that's where that word ends up or the way we call it ends up. Um, wait, we used to have it, where'd it go? Remove accents. Okay, so that's it. So if, if not, keep diacritics. See ya.
That's a list. It's a tiny, tiny list, but that's a list. And there's only 23 things in there. So sunset, trip to sunset, western sunset. That doesn't have the word sunset in it, but the other ones did. Shuttle launch. <laughs> yeah! I'm excited. This has been... I do, so I, I, I've been recording vlogs for a while now. I haven't actually posted any of them, but the one I did today, I was talking about how exciting it was last night to work on my site again like this. Like, it's been 20 years since I've had this much just pure pleasure working on stuff. A little, a little, a little choked up. Um... Also, apologies. You have to listen to different music than me right now um, because I I needed non the background stuff. I needed like stuff going. Um, so if I'm dancing to a song that you're not hearing, sorry about that. Also, I've got other playlists that are of the generic stuff. So let me know if you want to switch it. Um, so this is cool. So there's 20 there's 22 things in there. I don't know why it gave us these. Uh, I'm sorry, standby. Important part of this process. Get add dot. Uh, basic search tone test working. Huzzah. Oh, wait. No, well, whatever. I don't know why it freaked out on the quotes. That is calculator. We don't need that right now. Okay, so let's go see if we can figure out where... Do, 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 do. So we search titles sunset. So let's see. Oh, it's got... It's got all kinds of uh, rollback, right? Um, so it's doing, like that's, I'm sure that's intentional, right? I mean, we didn't change any of the actual algorithm code. Um, hmm, Sprite Zero, which is not healthy, but this is bubbly. It's also super fun, by the way. These are all random. I haven't seen these posts. Like, the the blog went back to 2005. Some of these pages are 15 years old. And, like, every now and then I'm seeing one, it's like, ah, Black Joe Lewis. I haven't heard of Black Joe Lewis in forever. Oh, I can't play this right now. I'd love to play this right now, but it would... YouTube would yell when I posted it. It's a bummer. You should go... Man, hang on. Uh, if you're interested, I don't know what kind of music you like. Wait, why won't it go? Uh-oh. There we go. If you're interested, that is a fun little song. Gunpowder. I could go play that right now. Uh, at some point, we'll talk about my idea, and I'm sure lots of people have this idea, but like doing an out of band sync thing so that like I could have a YouTube playlist going and then sync it over so that you could listen to the same thing that I was listening to. Um, that's another project in progress. Um, yeah, so it's going to do all this to explain the ranking. I use countries are so case sensitive. Equality trumps all. Right, so that's why. In our list that disappeared when we closed the console, console, console. Refresh, maybe. There we go. Um. 
Yeah, the word sunset. The ones that have sunset in there directly show up top. Okay, that makes sense. Equals case insensitivity equality. Starts with. Word starts with. Contains acronym. Okay. Simple match. If the item has the letters in the same order as the letters given. I, W, but not Kuwait because it's not must be in the same order. For them, or if the item is a closer match, it'll rank higher. U, A, U, A. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I think that, so the, somewhere in here, there's going to be the letter S, U, N, S, E, T, sunset. Yep. One more. S U N S E T. Okay, so that's what it's doing. That's gonna bring up some random stuff, but like, cool. Um, oh, so this is interesting. So, oh, oh, oh! You wouldn't have to load this on the page, right? You would throw it to a to a separate page. So I, I would have a search page. This is clicking. I was trying to do. I was trying to do the search on the page, and that's why I was trying to think about putting all the content on the page. Um, which you could do, right? Because it, it. And again, this, like, that's the React thing or whatever. But like, I don't know. And again, this is all just. I'm. So, the way that I would have done it is the way that I just described, where I created the search box, you enter your search term, it goes to another page, and I would load all the content on that page, do the search there, and then give you the results. But I'm gonna try it the other way, because this is like, I wanna see what happens, and I wanna see what the page performance happens, right? So, um, all right, so let me figure out how to do that. So, And it's funny because so the other, the other thing I'm thinking about doing again just on the like the the playful nature of the site which I don't know like sometimes it sounds gross this or not gross but like hoity toity to like talk about this stuff that way but like I don't know a better way to talk about it and that's not the way I'm that's not what I'm trying to do but um I'm thinking that what I will do is not. Like, I'm not going to have a header bar. Like, you won't be able to get back to the homepage with a link. Like, once you go somewhere, like, you're there. Like, you're in. And you can click out. You can do whatever. But, like, you're just, you're going to be there. Um, so, there's no, there's no top nav bar. There's no uh, bottom nav bar. But because there's no top nav bar, there's not going to be, like, a search place. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one of these tiles be the search bar, but it's also going to be random. So sometimes it'll be there, sometimes it won't. And when it is there, it's going to be in different places. Because why not? I don't know, like this is... And I don't... And here's the trick, is this is not, like, this is not an effort to mess with people. This is just to see what happens. Like, I don't know. Like, if if it like if I if I if I play with it a little bit, and it feels like it's just screwing with people. Then I'll take it out. But like, I think it might be just a kind of a fun little, because when you, again, like the, the way that I describe it here, right, the path that you take through this site if you go through it is yours alone. Like it's you can't repeat it, and like that would include the search. Like sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. Like I I don't know. I'm just I'm giddy in case you couldn't tell. All right, so let's figure out how to make it happen. So what we need to do, uh, so let me just, before I before I try and add in all, all the content, let me just see if I can make that content happen. Um, interesting, so, okay, yeah, yeah, hang on. That's too, too many steps ahead. Um, so what we could do So this, 
So we could just nuke everything in this div. Well, first of all, let's get a search box going so we can actually see what happens. Um, can I uncomment that? Is that going to work? Nope. Do that, do that, do that, do that, do that, 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 that. Uh, do I need a form or can I just do input? Probably need a form, right? I don't know, whatever. Input type text texter. Um, form with label and an input. Okay, cool. Oh, with a label too. Search the random, which I guess doesn't really apply, but whatever. Um, so somewhere up here, oh, that's gonna put it up here. Uh, where'd it go? Form input, is that cause I'm doing something? Oh yeah, is that it? Somewhere there should be a search box. Form, input type text, uh, hey, how's it going? <laughs> thank you thank you Creed. i appreciate it um i'm trying to do as fine work as i can so far i think we've made some good progress right now i can't find a search box though so my work quality at the moment is maybe not as high uh hello like Okay, so that works. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I actually took an Advil today just to make sure that I was not gonna have a problem with that. Um, and I'm, I'm actually looking at getting a different keyboard that has even less pressure. Um, oh, thanks for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, even less pressure on it. Like this one's pretty good, but I want like, I want to get as far away from the possibility of having to deal with that as possible and keep key press i think is is one of the things that get you or i don't know what it's called um key pressure type pressure 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 um also i get to get a new keyboard so like don't get me wrong there's, there's some other cool stuff going on there um do you have to in tailwind Form. So I'm, I'm using Tailwind. Oh yeah, this is another thing that I'm doing. The Tailwind CSS file, I don't know how to um, mush down to only be the parts that I need. So I'm just using the entire four gig file, or four gig, four meg file. Um, ergonomic house, yeah, it fits my hand. Um, so it's like, ish. It's not like, whatever. Um, not like fully rare, but like my, my hand does that properly on it. Um, and that's, I haven't, again, had issues with it. So um, hopefully it's good. Uh, are you, do you have RSI things going on or is it, you're just also cautious about it because being cautious about it is a good thing to do. Um, this is not helpful. Uh, where's the Tailwind CSS just in general? Tailwind CSS. I thought that was what I was on. Uh, documentation. Text transforms. Nopes, nopes, nopes. I appreciate that. Um, Sorry if that messes with you. That's, I had some minor problems with it years ago, but like super minor, but it was enough to both bug me and scare me. So I, I try and be really thing on it. I, I've tried the 
the those keyboards before, but it actually made my hands feel weirder and not like uh, new, but like tinglier. So for some reason, this feels okay. I'm going to get another one of those actually to try it just to give it another run. But I, I don't know. Like, I don't know why that was. Um, but the big one for me is the key pressure. I know that that's, that's a thing. Um, or I think it's a thing. I don't know. That's a thing. Um, Let me just ask the the team here. This should work, right? <laughs> Form input. Wait, if I do something here, does it show up? Yeah. Oh, it just is invisible. Okay. I think it just disappeared. I I should do that. Um, but apparently we have to do some magic to make it show up. Because um, there it is. Uh, that's super weird. Yeah. I, I, it's got to be Tailwind doing something in there. Um, right, because by default, there's a border, right? Um, CSS form border. That is not how you spell CSS. Do an MDN on that? Border style, styling web forms. Do, 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 do. Box sizing. Show me border. Show me border. Box sizing. So I probably can just do input board. Uh, here. All right. So my CSS sheet is somewhere that sounds like assets tail this this may take a second to load because it's four meg yeah so i've got 183,000 line css file right now um border one px solid black Uh oh, okay, that's not my site. Oh, oh, whoops. Didn't like that. Uh, okay. So that's not so good. The, yeah, the, the jargon's always fun, right? Um, I will admit, years ago, I had, um, uh, well, frankly, it was a manager in my area who really liked talking tech jargon, even though he didn't know what any of it meant. And so occasionally, I would make a term up that wasn't actually a thing and he actually copped one of them and said it in a meeting with a whole bunch of other techies one time. And it was the most delightful thing. Um, I don't know. That's a bad story, but like, it was, it was super funny. Like he was, I don't want to say he deserved it, but like it was, I just left something out that wasn't for him, but he picked it up and decided to use it. So, um, now I just got to figure out, and that's probably why uh, Karma is coming back at me right now and not letting me do a border. Um, box sizing, border, border. He 
You know what? I could really use border none. See? Wait. What was the error? Uh, where was the error? Wait, now it's working again. Oh! That, it errored, right? Oh, it was probably starting to process that 4 meg file. Okay, whatever. We can see it now. Cool. Got it. Um, okay, now how do we do the next part? I don't know. All right, so I'm going to close the 4 meg file. That's 183,908 lines. Uh, so we've got our text. Okay, there's probably better ways to do this, but I'm going to go to the way that I kind of know. On change, right? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Placeholder field, let. So input dot on change handle change. So I, if I give this an ID, all right, ID equals try to get this, and then script. SCR IPT. We do try to get this dot on change. Is it equals? Equals handle change. Okay, and then we got to make that a function. Equals handle change. function handle change console log it changed and so that like i just people who know what they're doing can do this much faster and just know what they're doing but i gotta do this step by step um to see if i, I just need to see if i can make it work um so what i hope happens is if we refresh this page which actually I probably already did anyways if i do this Nothing showed up. That was, oh, there it is. It changed. Perfect. Wait. Hang on. That shouldn't happen instantly. Function handle change, change. Need to be lowercase. See, it should happen now. Okay, that's not right then. Let's try something else. Oh, get query selector. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay. Let input equal. Okay, okay, okay. Get element by ID is what we want to have. So we're going to do this. So let. the search thing I'm, I'm not in a naming uh thing right now i can't i just need tags like these aren't good names but they're the names that we're naming things okay so that so we've got our id we're finding that element we're signing that to this then when this changes we do the hand we do the the thing of bob which is a very technical term. Um, is on change supposed to have, it's lowercase here. It used to be O-N with a capital C. All right, so refresh. Nope. What I'm looking for is when I when it, I type something in here, I should see output coming down here. Um, and it should say it change. It change, we add a D there to be changed in a second. Um, but that sh it's happening before I type and then it's not happening when I'm type. So there's something, something's not wired right. Why is that? 
Here. It changed with a D. Handle change. Get element by ID. On change. Am I missing with that? Change events fire when the user commits a value change to a form control. This may be done. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Does it need to have a value to start with? Value e equals value equals nada. I don't think that's gonna be it. Nope. Uh, I'm a little stuck right now. Also, my, I got $9 headphones right now and they're definitely okay. Um, but they're kind of falling out of my ears. Um, bum, 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 bum. So what, how, what, how, why? What's the six whys? Who, what, why, when, where? Something. Target on change function reference. Oh, wait, 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 hang on. Is it because I'm doing this? <gasps> wait a minute. Nope. Oh, okay, you got a tab at it. Okay, cool, there it is. Google. You don't want to involve the handle change. Is that what I just did? Was that the prints? The prints seem to have fixed it. Hooray. But you gotta... It's not doing it for each letter, which I thought it was gonna do. You actually have to like you know, tab or do whatever. Oh, invoke. Okay, gotcha. And that was what was happening when I had the prints, right? It was firing immediately when I was trying to set it. Foodfood. Food. It's my uh it's my new band name right there. Foodfood. Food. Um sweet, okay. So JS form uh, don't send. What's the... Nope, that's not it. I thought I had this in my notes. Um, JS form false. There's like a return false thing that you can do. I don't have my notes though. Because um, I don't want it to... Don't send form JS. On click. You do it. It's like you return false somehow. Like I said, if somebody hits enter, I don't want the form to, to bump. JavaScript form. Don't submit. Don't submit form. Stay strong. That was awful. Event prevent default. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, prevent default. Okay, that's it. You change it on the form and not on the input, I believe. So if you're waiting to update in every keystroke, you want that on change on the input. What, so what's the, like what's the, the flavor of the year, the not 2020 type flavor of the year, but like the, the flavor of the day for like instant, instant stuff like that's probably better right having it just like when you type and just seeing it go do, 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 right um 
Yeah, let's do that. I like that. Uh, and I've never done that before again. So like, yeah, we'll try it. Okay. Thank you for being part of that conversation. <laughs> uh, the So I've, I've a thing that I've discovered about streaming, and I wonder if other people who stream have also discovered is even if there's really nobody out there, this is like rubber duck debugging sometimes where it's just like just saying it out loud shifts the like the mental frameworks enough and gets like gets it out of your head. And so that kind of stuff happens frequently, which I I, I so love this stuff. Um, and that's when I like, A, I enjoy it. I like the teaching aspect. I like all that stuff. I like learning it. I like everything about it. But that's one of the one of my other favorite parts about it is the just like epiphany after epiphany just because you're talking out loud. Um, OK, so we've got this. I don't need to. So this goes on submit in the form. OK, cool. We can make that happen. Um. Oh, we are on the input though. Right now. Though that's weird. It should have changed. That is strange. I don't know why that didn't change. Um all right, let's let's try this first and knock these out. S U B M I T. I'm not going to make this stay strong joke again. I'm just going to reference it. Um, stop doing multiple things. No, 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 no. Absolutely. That's 100% even better if there's somebody out there who's com coming back, especially when you know more about the stuff than me. That's super helpful. Um, but no, I, I like... The interactions also just awesome. Um, so again, you you let's put it this way: if you were ever bugging me, I'll let you know. Uh, B sometimes I might just go head down for a little bit, and it'll be a little bit before I get back to chat. That's just gonna happen, right? But that's not an annoying thing. It just happens, and you get like in a zone or whatever, um, or not whatever. You get in the zone. Uh, all right, let's see what that says. I'm going to have to open another window here soon. Oh, so I, I, the reason I'm not closing any tabs is A, lots of us don't close tabs, but B, um, I take all the links uh, and put them in my show. Like, that is my show notes. It's basically just all the tabs that I had open. Um, so if you're wondering why I'm not, like, actually closing some tabs or cleaning up a little bit, that would be it. Also, I probably wouldn't do it anyways because, you know, that's... Most people who I know, um, not just developers, but most people I know have uh, a habit of hanging on to tabs. All right. A, B, C. Okay, now. Okay, so we're at least getting to the point where... Okay, so it's changing. It's picking up changes when I hit enter and it's not firing off to go somewhere else. But why does it know, like, to... Uh, ba -ba -ba. the change event. Oh, you could do it as. I wonder if it's not the on change, but you do a change event. Select element. To... Oh, and this is also this is one of those like inline functions, right? This is a function. I'm still not used. To, I, I was just reading in that um, React book. This this is basically just a a function, right? An arrow function or something. Um. All right. So. Um, oh, an anonymous function. Okay. Cool. I kind of like arrow function better. That has like a. 
you know, not superhero exactly, but like a very something. I don't know. I'm running out of words right now. Um, all right, so we're just going to do this. Uh, I'm actually just going to hide all this for a minute, and we're going to start fresh. So query selector, I'm actually going to do get element by ID again. Which I guess I could have... Yeah, well, whatever. It's fine. I used to be really worried about, like, what's the right way to do this? Which is funny, because the first language that I did was Perl. And, like, the whole thing about it is, like, there's more than one way to do it was the slogan. But, like, I had some stuff in my brain that was, like, it's got to be... I got to find the right way. I don't want to do it the wrong way. Um, and, like, I'm not belittling, like, that was just how it was. Um, but now it's I'm much more... Give us a shot. So change event. So this sends the event in. Advent linter change event. Results. We don't have any of this stuff yet. Result text you like whatever. Okay. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? Uh, get on by ID. Wait. So dot and query selector is. Um, class? I want to try this. This is another little experiment. I don't know if, like, I know how to do it with ID. I want to see if I can, like, what this does. Because if we do this... Probably hear more error function. Out of it, let's button. Yeah. Yeah, let's see this. Let's see what we got here. I'm not seeing anything show up, but that oh let me let me send to log first. Get before I get all jumpy here. Uh event dot target. Oh, so the event Okay, okay, here. Um, uh, let's do this. Um, that's JavaScript, right? Console log. Uh, ba -ba -ba -bum -bum -bum. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. Oh, wait, can you do single ticks? I didn't know that was a format. That's pretty cool. I'm going to try that again in a second. I want to put baby steps. All right, refresh. Now it's still picking it up only on change, or only when I hit the thing. And that couldn't be... That couldn't be the style sheet, right? Because there's no JS in the style sheet. That's not like a Safari thing, is it? Uh, what am I doing? Look list. One three one three, I think. Console. I need to, where is it? Why is it so small? Thank you. Yes, yeah, that's only doing it on change. To, oh, it's actually not picking up the value the second time. What? That is confusing to me. Refresh it. So if I do uh, that. Oh, it just says ASDF. Oh, wait, did I just hard code that? Is that what happened? Yep, that's exactly what happened. 
All right, I'm going to try this new magic. I like new magic. Okay, so that's picking it up. Try removing the form tags. Okay. Uh, I'm going to comment this one out just because there's it has that event default thing in there that I don't want to go look up again. Oh, actually, hang on before we do that. Um, JS prevent form from submitting. Input type. Bear with me one second. Uh, thing value equals none. Input type submit value equals submit. I don't know if this is the, still the way that you do forms, but like this will get me there for now. Form. Prevent a form I'm moving to the next page. Okay, and also, uh, test function, test function. You can also throw a test, throw a test function at it to do something instead. I try to uh, I try to take notes so that if I run into something, I only have, like like you can find anything these days, right? Or basically anything, but like sometimes it takes a long time, sometimes it doesn't. But if I can. If I think I've got it in here, I can get to it super quick. Um, and it's in my voice, right? Um, would, that's actually another thing I'm gonna be doing with this, by the way, is figuring out, so those are all just markdown documents. Um, I've got about 6,000 of them, uh, which is not just tech stuff. Like it's, that's my everything book. Um, but like, I'm gonna start publishing those out automatically as well. Um, once I figure out kind of the methodology of how I do that and make sure that I'm not publishing work stuff, right? Um, but anyways, let's see what happens if we do this. Oh, and see, now, now it's cool because I've actually got that, so now I can delete this. Like, I can go clip it right at, back, back out of my notes if I need it. Um, all right, so we're refreshed. on change, whoops, form on change, not instant. Try to do an experiment, I'm having every time in the type box, it's on change property, but it doesn't work. I still need to press submit to make it work. When is this from? 2011, okay. Do I still need Ajax? Please help. This is not. Check input text box. What? That's not really an answer. I don't understand. Gonna be value alert value. Check input JavaScript type. Where is on change? Check input. On change is only triggered when the control is blurred. Try on key press. That has a check mark by it. Uh, key press, I'm guessing. There we go. Key press. Delightful. 
that, by the way, is another note. Uh, JS on, uh, on key press instead of on change or instant return event, whatever. Uh, this will trigger the event for every key press, not just on change which is only when the control is blurred. Oh, I love that syntax. I love that syntax. Why hasn't that syntax been there for at least, I don't know, 10 years? Sweet. That is cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. The, uh, this is cool. Okay. So here's the really interesting thing is we've got a bunch of Legos now. Um, and those Legos might be able to snick, uh, snick together. Snicked like Wolverine. Um, by the way, I've been listening to the same song on repeat. Oh, that's what I should do. Uh, if you want to, if you want to get behind what I'm on, um, I've been listening to this on repeat this entire time. Just, it's really good, like, it's got the right flow for me right now. Uh, all right, sweet. So this should go too, right? There we go. Awesome. Okay, that I'm super psyched about that. Okay, so. Okay. Let me get my head around this real quick. So we've got our events coming in, we've got our listener, and we've got our uh, arrow function, awesome name. Uh, results, so we can actually do this to populate that result. So if I take, I don't know if this matter, if the order of this matters, but like, so title matches, matcher matches sunset, okay. So if I take this, I'm gonna comment it and then copy it because I might need it back there again. I'm a big fan of leaving stuff around for a while. Uh, if I put this here and I pass it this value, and then I've got that, and then if I take that and, oh, did I delete the other thing? Uh, I did, but it's in the notes. It's not in the notes, I just deleted it. Uh, whatever, we'll just do it. Um, oh, actually, no, let me go, I wanna undo to this. Oh, text content too. That's also not a thing I'm familiar with. All right, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this note. I'm just gonna copy it and move it to another place because I've got my headspace is in. Um, I've got it loaded in my head right now. Uh, add context to fill in a value whatever uh, 
look at text content. T E and T. T E and T. I spent too long on this. Okay. Also, I should copy the thing that I want. This. Hello, hello, hello. So text content. Can I just throw this at it directly and just throw a list in there? And then we add that back in. Okay. Oh, I can't find variable title matches. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's right there. Oh, 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 I took it out here. Aha. That was when I commented out. So let me rename the top one so we don't collide. I don't know if it would, but. Where'd it go? Uh, it's over here somewhere. Title matches, live, whatever. There's that. S U N. Oh, can't find variable result. Oh, I've got to grab the. I've got to grab the thing, don't I? Yeah, constant result. There we go. Oh, it would have been awesome if it worked right there. Like the first time through on that. That would have been cool. But you know what? Oh, if it worked the second time through, it would have been awesome. But no. Null is not an object. Okay. But it's not null. Oh, come on, it's close. It's close, it's close, it's close. What's going on? Console log. Is that showing up in the log? Yeah, so we got Sun. Hmm, it's one character behind. Check the results class you added. I need more help. <laughs> um, const result, right? Class. Result text content. This is, we're loading it, right? So it's pulling this from here into here. Wait, what? Get on by a D. That's what I'm doing. I, I'm doing the same thing up here. Isn't that it? All right, wait. Uh, the ultimate has a class. Ow! <laughs> I can't imagine how frustrating that was for you. It's like, it's the class, not the ID, the, the class. Where it says the word class, that's that's what we're talking about. <laughs> Thank you. I remember earlier when I was like, ooh, I'll change this and do it as a class and then didn't actually do it. Yeah. <sighs> class is not an ID. You're a wise, wise person. Look at that. Okay, that is pretty awesome. You are exactly right. <laughs> um, that's cool. I might have been here for three hours, by the way, looking at that, because I'm like my brain is hitting that point where it's like I'm still okay but it's getting a little bit mushy um this is cool this is really cool oh 
Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, because you could then... Well, yeah, so I really... Like, the, the, the going after it, like... NASA, right? Um, the... Uh, I can't even think of other words right now. Shuttle. I'm in space, apparently, right now. Oh, this is so interesting. This is so interesting. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I, thank you for the help. Like, legit. Like, seriously. And thanks for hanging out, too. Like, appreciate it. Um, it's always awesome. Uh, God, this is cool. I'm excited. I'm really excited. And, and, the, and the fun thing, too, is not only... Am I excited about this? I'm excited about the content I get to play with now too. The one of the things I was talking about uh, doing the vlog stuff was I didn't realize the subtle but distinct pressure that was on me to write for the blog something that was solid and good and like you know refined. And like, no joke, I've spent, I spend probably, I, I spend several hours and, a, and one time I spent 50 hours writing a blog post. But because it's not chronological anymore, the thing is, the thing that I make isn't going to sit at the top for however long it takes me to make another thing. It's just going out there. So like. And I was really like that today. I was like, I can just throw stuff out there all the time. And like, who a who cares? But B, you do care if that's the thing that's up top all the time. And so like this, and so like I'm really like my brain's really is is kind of on fire with this stuff. Um, and it's I'm excited, and and I really I'm really excited. Uh, that like there's po like I don't know I feel I feel like we're about to turn another point where like people are gonna get back into like doing their own thing and getting out of Facebook and getting out of Twitter and all that other stuff, um. And so it's nice to feel this feeling again, and then to figure out how we can set up tools to let other people who aren't techies get this right, um. And like that's a th that's a thing like we can do that, um. We just time effort energy attention right but like we got it we just we just got to do it but right now i get to play with this this is awesome you will occasionally hear me get like i, I don't know i go i have feelings about this stuff um yeah so whatever um okay so here's all right, so I probably got, I probably, I have some, a little more time in me, not much, because um, I stayed up too late last night, and I'm, I can't do that. That's not good for me. Um, but what I want to try, so I want to see if I, let me see if I can link these. So that's, uh, let's get the, also, thank you so much for pointing this out to me. This is awesome. That, I would not have found that. Uh, I wouldn't have taken that approach. Like I was, that's the other thing. I swear once a week, somebody on stream has showed me something that I would not have thought of. Like I was going down the path of, um, I'm going to use DuckDuckGo or I'm going to use Google or I'm going to do something or do cloud watch logs or something like that. It Doing this approach never would have occurred to me until somebody said, hey, have you thought about whatever love it absolutely love it um forgot what it's called javascript match something match sorter i think i pinned that but i don't think i did yep nope i didn't i should do that javascript hugo site favorites JavaScript 
match sorter. Simple. Expect to determine best match. Sorting of array. Sorting of an array. Sweet. What did you use before? I'm curious. Match sorter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that delay is always funny, right? Fuse to oh, that, somebody, there was something in here about that. I'm not going to switch tonight. <laughs> I just want to look at this for a quick second. Um, Lightweight fuzzy search, zero dependencies, fuse, five compliant. I'm so I'm I'm so glad that we can say this and not have to worry about it. I've spent so much time dealing with the browser war stuff. Check a live demo. Okay, so this is just another search tool then. What is fuse? Why do you use it? Old. Whatever, I'm just gonna bookmark this. And we'll look at it later. Uh, JavaScript, JavaScript. I should just take Java out of there. Um, to investigate, whatever, cool. Their site's nice and clean, I like that. Um, there's that, oh, actually, no, I need to keep that open for load notes. Okay, so what I need to do, because will it return, if I give it, by default, it just uses the value itself as above. Passing an array tells match order which keys to use for the ranking. Okay, I don't need to do that. But I do want to, I want to, I want to give it a list. Oh, I would need to tell it which, so object, oh, okay, 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 object list. We pass it the object list, G is the thing, keys, name, color. So I can actually just pass it. Okay, 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 okay. I think I have an idea. What's going on here? Uh, so, do, 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 do. I almost sang Star Wars right there. So that's doing our push. This is our search and our title match. This is for the lower one though. Okay, so hang on, I can take this out for right now. In So I need to populate the array with um, hashes, dictionaries. I don't know what they're called in JavaScript anymore. Um, so search titles. So for, okay, so in the array, I can just pass hashes. So right now, and I got those inside squirrely brackets aren't JavaScript. That's the render from Hugo. So I need to come out here. We're going to push this title. Title is that. Link is nothing right now. I'm not going to worry about populating. I just want to figure out. Um, I want to see if I can target this to start with. Because up here, what we need to do is in our search, match shorter. So search titles is our thing. Here's our value that we're passing into it.
then we pass keys and I only actually want to search one key. I don't want to search the URLs. So keys title. All right, let's just try this and see. This is just, I, I call them tone tests, right? Let's just do a tone test and see if this actually hits anything. So refresh the page. Hey, look, Sweet Home of Alabama with the Red Army Choir. That is a really strange one. Again, I haven't thought about that in years. Oh, something worked. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, we got it. So that was the, I didn't update the way that the results were going out, but that threw all the objects out there. So we're throwing back. Oh, so I'm gonna have to actually do uh, like a for loop or something here, right? Um, so what's the difference between like a constant and a let and a var? Can you, are constants mutable? Or is let mutable? What's mutable? JavaScript const mutable. E6 const a is mutable. Why? Only a variable assignment is constant. Any objects or arrays reference stay mutable. What you can do is object freeze. Okay, I don't want to freeze it. Actually, I want to keep it going. Um, result list equals, so we can make this an array. And then uh, I need to look up a JavaScript for loop. For loop. Uh, so we're going to loop over the array which is probably better ways to do this now. Um, constants are not mutable, let's are. Oh, okay, cool. But this should still work, right? Because it's saying that the array, like we're assigning an array to it, so you can't change that array, but you can change the stuff inside the array, I think is what it was saying. We're gonna try this. Um, yeah, it should be cool. Gucci. I like it. I like Gucci. Actually, I have no idea if I like Gucci or not. I like the word. So we got that. We're going to paste in the way that we do. Ooh, that didn't go well, did it? So this should be a let then, if we want that to be um, available for change. And I think there's actually a way, I've got another one in here where you can actually do the assignment inside the four somehow. But like, if this works, I'm gonna go with it right now. I don't know why that's on its own line. I like that up there better. So for I to the length of results, we're gonna just go. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and we're gonna append, wait. It, see it. We're gonna push. Um, so we're gonna push this into. Our return list and the thing that we're gonna push into our return list is result. I. There we go. So that gives us the list. And then, oh, actually, no, what we should do, actually better, better, better. Um, so let, this is again, not the right way to do this at all. Let result uh, lines equal nothing. As we loop through this, what we're going to do is go result lines equals result lines plus, I don't know the other syntax yet. I'm not going to mess with it. I just need to get this part going. Um, 
result i title. Right? I think. Maybe. Hopefully. And then result. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whoops. Title matches. Sorry, I did the wrong thing here. This. Result lines. Title match lines. Live. Title matches live. Oh, it's the live one. Okay. That was a name that confused me, which means it's not a great name. Um, and the results text content is going to be result lines, which we already use that syntax. All right. Oh, bummer. Can't find variable. Is, uh, why is there a UTL there? Which line is this? Look close to 48. That doesn't make any sense. Reference can't find variable. Rest tile. Oh, I pasted it inside somewhere. I don't see it. Oh, here it is. All right, everybody happy? Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so now we're passing, instead of just passing one line, we're actually passing a dictionary uh, hash. I forget what they're called. And We've got the title in there, so now we need to add the link. So for the link, we're gonna need to make a new uh starting to fade just a little bit. Themes. I'm looking for section. They move every time. They're gremlins. Assets, tail, no, data, no, images, and layout, default. Summary, and then we did search title. Okay, so now we want to do search link. New file. Search link HTML. Uh, okay, so here is our original summary. I don't know why that needs to go away. Um, so somewhere in here, there's going to be a link, like a permalink. Hello, permalink. Uh, and then we come over to search link. Oh, actually, you know what? We can just assemble. We could just assemble the whole thing right here. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. It's probably not a good idea. We'll keep it atomic. We'll keep the thing separate. The way that I'm passing this thing in, I could just pass in like an A anchor href permalink with a title in it. Um, but for right now, I may do that. That may be an optimization later, but like right now, small steps, just get the thing going. Um, so we've got this, I'm starting to fade just a little bit, by the way. Uh, so things may go slap happy in about five minutes ago. Um, all right, so this is the so result lines has our full set. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm making a string and just appending to it. And so here's where I'm doing the append. Here's where I'm going to use your magic syntax is what's going to happen. Um, because it's going to be easier to do this way. So result lines equals magic syntax. Uh, uh, 
Do I want, I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna make these print for a minute. Um, we're gonna do breaks here right now, just cause that's all I can think about. We're gonna do a break. A href equals title matches live title. Okay, so there's that. I just wanna finish the, this, so that I've got my structure in there. And then we can come back and fill in the blanks with the correct squirrely. Oh, so I've got to populate. I'm not populating it yet. Um, so we're gonna take this and this and this, and this is gonna become URL. And then way down here, same, yeah. I, uh, I, I definitely have hit the, the point in um, the world where sleep is a much more of a thing. Um, yeah, this, I'm doing this and then I'm tapping out. Like, <laughs> I didn't think I was going to go this long, but I'm, I'm right on the thing. Right. Um, okay. So we're pushing title and we, we called it link earlier, but we're going to call it URL here. And then inside of this. We're going to change this to search link. Did I get everything? Oh, it's, it's escaping it. Oh, it's escaping it. <laughs> Crap. It's it's doing it like there's there's the title like there's the URL there's the title, oh. No wait what's wait what's doing the escape? Is that that's coming in the JavaScript right? Oh yeah the page refreshes every five minutes because I've got a page a page gets built on the site automatically every five minutes so that's what the refresh was. Um, Okay, this is this is addressable. I'm not worried about this. Is that because I'm using the magic syntax? It's doing escapees. So result lines. Oh, inner HTML. Oh, I remember inner HTML. Uh oh, why is it angry? Oh, there we go. All caps for HTML? Yeah, okay, cool. Might not matter. <laughs> Boom. That is awesome. A W E S O M E. Awesome. And so you could do things like you could limit it. Like, I'll have to figure out how. This is, I have the mechanics now, right? So now it's just formatting and style, which is it's it, its own thing. And I'm not belittling that at all, but like that is the, the, the foundation build, right? The heavy, the heavy thought move of that structure, right? Um, that's super cool. Yeah. So I'm going to float that thing around. Like here's, here's what I'm thinking is. I probably won't let it be in this first slot, but I'll limit it so that it's in one of these nine or one of these, however many, like it's really, whoop, one more. So like, this will be, a oh, this is the home page. I'm sorry. It looks different when you're on another, when you're on the other pages, it's three wide, right? Um, but I'll limit it to like one of these first few rows basically, but not have it be there all the time. And then I'll need to figure out like what, what happens like when you type, um, like what the, what the user experience is there. Um, oh, 
that's super cool. That is super cool. I mean, I'm talking about my own thing. I'm sorry. Like, I'm. That's. But like, it's super cool. <laughs> oh, sweet home nostalgia, right? Sweet home nostalgia. I don't even know what this is. Uh, oh, sweet singing sweet home Alabama. It's gonna also make me tear up a little bit. Um. All right, I have to. I have to step away. Cause like, I have to step away. <laughs> I'm jazzed right now. Oh. Yeah, because you could send... Oh, yeah, you could send the full... Because you'd want to have the, the capability of searching the full text, right? Um, but, like, I could load that. And so I would probably actually lazy load that. Which would be another interesting thing to, to experiment with. Um... Just because on principle, like, actually, I'll try it without lazy loading it just to see what the experience is. But, like, I'm such a fan of make everything as fast as possible. And, like, sending down, even though if it's gzipped or whatever, a thousand posts seems like not the best way to make things go fast. <laughs> End of the eye. Yep. Ah. Thank you for hanging out. That is awesome. This has been so much fun. Oh, I hope you enjoyed some of this as much as I did because oh, it was awesome. Um, all right, I have to close this page and stop looking at it because I'm going to keep playing with it. And then it's going to be one in the morning like it was last night. And I, that is not healthy for me. So we're going to we're going to not do that. Um, cool. All right. I'm going to cash out. I'm going to cash out. I'm glad you had a good time. Uh, we'll catch you soon, I'm sure. Uh, and I mean, I'm. this is my weekend, by the way. <laughs> All right, take it easy. We'll see you. Thank you for so much for hanging out. We'll see you soon. Bye. I didn't hit the right button. I'll try it again. See ya.